Wife and kids would say, Dad, that's the kind of zen that you, that need, you need to bring need. to our house. Little namaste action. Oh, man, yeah. <laughs> I, and it's just, you know, we knew going into this, so many big airport hubs mm -hmm. impacted. And, man, what a cold punch this thing delivered here. Right. If you have not heard, and this is not a surprise, the winter storm warning extended until 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. It's for the wind, the blowing, the drifting, uh, and the uh, just downright nasty wind chills here. So, uh, we're getting that we told you yesterday that our strongest gust would be this afternoon, this evening, and that's what's going on almost at 50 for a gust right now in Muncie, um, 35 to 45 and higher on these gusts here in the next several hours. And I don't think they really get much better probably till later Sunday. Producing wind chills still near 30 below. We've had 40 to 45 below. These are high temperatures, high temperatures for today. And if that one below holds an ending, and I think it will, then we are talking about a record breaker here. Our coldest high temperature uh, since January 18th, 1994. And if you remember that day, it was absolutely crushing as well. This is only the 17th day since 1871 with a high temperature this cold. I mean, this is ridiculous. Nine below for the low, one below for the high. Yeah, that's nasty. We should be at 38. We should be at 25. We'll go way above those numbers later next week. Everyone's asking, what about the wind? When is it going to ease up? So these are gusts. Even tomorrow at this time, we're still 35 plus miles per hour on the wind gust. We're going to have to wait until uh, Christmas Day to really get a break here. You see where the average low and average high are. This is for the rest of today, temperature and wind chill, and there's for Christmas Eve. So here's the breakdown for tomorrow. Still going to have blowing and drifting snow. Uh, temperatures struggle to get to double digits. Tomorrow evening, I'll get you into Christmas Day here and show you how that's looking. We're going to get some sunshine. Going to be bitter start in the morning. And then temperatures getting into the teens here in the afternoon. Now. Um, I want you to be aware of what's coming because everyone's going to have stuff going on tomorrow. Everyone's going to have stuff going on Sunday for Christmas. The models are really locked in and they have been for several days on a clipper system coming in here. This is first thing Monday morning. Okay, it's going to be a different kind of this is a clipper. It's not going to be very windy, but it does look like it may give us some shovelable snow going into Monday. I don't want that to catch you off guard. OK, so we'll fine tune it. Just know that it's on the way. Take a look at this. Oh my goodness. What a change of pace on the way for next week. We could be staring down 60 plus with rain and possibly thunderstorms to wrap up 2022.